So our kettle has stopped right about the time our five minutes um, expired. So what I'm doing, I've just um, squeezed the lime, adding a little ginger, and then some honey, a teaspoon, I put a teaspoon of honey. The Bible this morning I was reading, I think Proverbs 20. And it was saying that honey is actually good for you. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, I take my honey every night. <laughs> so God must be quite pleased with me. So, some water. And stir. So that's it. Just squeeze a lime, add a little ginger. Well, I'm just doing powdered ginger for tonight. And um, add some honey and water. And you're good. All right, but well, it doesn't stop there. So we have the, see that? The thing from our lime. So I'm going to be going in the shower right about now. So I, when I put the lime on my face, I don't keep it on for long. So I just put it on. Helps to, I believe it helps to keep my face nice and clear, the bacteria off. So I just rub on the, you recycle. This is what I call about recycling your garbage for skincare. So it helps me. I have acne prone skin. And so it helps me. You might ask, so why is Mary so infatuated with wellness? I am infatuated with wellness because my mother has all the lifestyle diseases, the arthritis, the hypertension, the diabetes, the obesity. And I saw how that cruelly took away the quality of her life. And I knew that was something I didn't want for myself. And when I researched, I realized that you can break generational sickness curses upon your life. You have that power. And I decided I was going to take that power because I wanted to live a better quality life. And so I started exercising and I started eating making better food choices when I, when, when I could afford to. Although what I'm realizing now is that it's easier, it's cheaper to, to eat healthy than unhealthy because fast food is very expensive. I buy vegetables for like each week I spend like say $2,000 on vegetables and that lasts me all week for my food. So it's cheaper. It, so it's a, usually we think that we need to have money to live well. That's not true absolutely a, a, a fad that just needs to be <clears throat> so anyways so my mother gave me all of these predispositions and i actually was diagnosed with high cholesterol and at that point i was not you know really i was taking the wellness thing but i wasn't really running with it and the doctor said to me okay i can put you on that nasty drug whatever it is something on the roll and uh, or you can i can give you three months to incorporate vegetables in your diet and we do test again and see how you're doing i decided to take the vegetable route so i came i didn't become a vegetarian i decided that what i would do is to reduce my portions of carbohydrates especially and pump up some vegetable in my diet so every day these days i make sure to eat fruits and vegetables along with my regular meal. So I've not done anything too drastic. And that's something that we need to in, um, consider when we design our wellness plan. If it is not you, if it is too far from your life or who you truly are, it won't work because you'll do it for a while and then you'll fall off. And that was what I was trying to do. I was trying to be a vegetarian. I was trying to be a uh, all kind of things that didn't work for me because at my core that was not me so I took the challenge to eat the vegetables and he said all you need to do is do some cucumber do some lettuce do some callaloo especially green leafy vegetables and I did and since then I've gone back to several times and my cholesterol is in balance so that's why I take this wellness thing so seriously and that 
has given me this passion to share it with people because I see people living a life that is less than quality because sickness has robbed them of their right to live a quality life. And I believe that as people of grace, we should age gracefully and we should live and, and enjoy our everyday life to the maximum as God created us wonderfully and fearfully. Our bodies are like supercomputers. If you program it the right way, it does wondrous things. And that's the message, the message I want to share with the world. So until next time, my glass of is Shalom.